Hi, I'm Dr. Harry Adelson. I'm speaking to you from Doceri Clinics here in Park City, Utah. Something we get asked a lot is what's the difference between rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis is a systemic disease. It's an autoimmune disease. Whereas osteoarthritis is degeneration, normal wear and tear of joints or spine. Rheumatoid arthritis, as I said, is an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease is where your immune system mistakes your own tissue, in the case of rheumatoid arthritis, it's your joints, as a foreign invader and attacks it. As such, autoimmune disease is a systemic disease where inflammation plays a central role and the joints get destroyed because the immune system mistakes the joints as a foreign invader. Now, osteoarthritis is just normal wear and tear. There's no systemic disease occurring. It's just your body breaks down your joints faster than your stem cells can build them back up. So which of these two can be treated with stem cells? Well, the answer is both. One of the major indications for stem cell therapy is autoimmune disease. Now here at Doceri Clinics, we don't treat autoimmune disease. We only treat conditions such as osteoarthritis. We treat musculoskeletal pain. There are clinics around the United States and around the world that do treat autoimmune disease, and I encourage you to look them up. If you're suffering from either osteoarthritis from normal wear and tear, or if you have damage to the joints from past episodes of rheumatoid arthritis, where the rheumatoid arthritis is in remission or otherwise under control, but there's been damage to the joints, that is something that can be treated here at Doceri Clinics with stem cells. We ask people to take it real easy for the first week, then uh, second week start to reintroduce activity, and then most importantly for two months, no new injuries, no slipping on the ice, no falling on your butt, no getting pulled over by a dog. You gotta go two months without getting injured because the way this treatment works is we're tricking your body into thinking that it's undergone a new injury without actually having caused any tissue insult. So you get a second chance at healing. Well, during that time, you don't wanna actually irritate the structure that we've treated. For instance, if you get a road rash and you want that ulcer to heal, you gotta leave it alone. You can't pick at it, right? So if we're treating your knees, for instance, you gotta go two months of not putting uh, undue trauma to the knee. Now, if we compare this to a steroid injection, say someone has knee pain from arthritis and they get a steroid injection. A steroid injection, if it's done properly, works right away, and then if you're lucky, it lasts two months and then it wears completely off. This is the opposite. Stem cell therapy takes two months to even work. I don't expect any improvement for the first two months. At around two months, that's where people say they notice that every day they're getting just a little bit better. And that continues over six months and really over a year. One of the main predictors of whether or not we help somebody is the person's overall health. That's based on our experience. We've just seen that people who are in poor health to begin with, we generally don't get great outcomes with. And we usually recommend against treatment if they're clearly in poor health. Take a year to get healthy before you consider stem cell therapy. You'll be glad that you did. For some very basic strategies on how to anti-age your stem cells, how to improve your, out, your chances for a good outcome, click on the link below for my paper, Top Three Ways to Anti-Age Your Stem Cells. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out some other videos.